Hello, I am George Gomez and my team is Team 4 and our project is the Pellet Extruder on the Robotic End Effector. Project Description Our project would entail this attaching a pellet extruder on the end of a robotic arm. In our case, our robotic arm is a KUKA KR-30 arm. It will be used for 3D printing. Also, the pellet extruder would have a feed system which would feed it pellets in a continuous motion while it does 3D printing. Markability. Imagine if an aircraft is sitting in a hangar in Anchorage International Airport awaiting a, for a much needed critical engine part so it can continue its flight to Osaka, Japan to deliver much needed fresh produce. For each hour an aircraft sits in the hangar, it costs the company tens of thousands of dollars. According to the FAA, in 2019, delays cost companies and passengers an estimated $33 billion a year. The U.S. Department of Transportation imposes fines to airline companies of $27,500 for each passenger on a commercial flight that has waited on the tarmac for over three hours. Problem statements. Delays cost aircraft companies billions of dollars each year. To solve this, we are planning and in innovating a developer efficient way to use a pellet extruder on a robotic arm. Our product would be easy to use, easy to maintain, and cost effective than our current competitors. Our main goals and objectives is to be able to fabricate aircraft parts and home parts to print in a continuous manner, and to be able to accurately print and to be used in a friendly manner. And it is also to be fast and efficient in printing and also be able to be easily maintained. Hey, my name is Julesi Trujillo. So when designing a product, one has to figure out what it is that people want. So one has to design for outcome, manufacturing, and distribution. So our product is intended for industrial customers. So these individuals will benefit from our pellet extruder on a robotic end effector because this machinery leads to an easier and quicker type of manufacturing, meaning faster production of our product. So some examples of these users would be the medical industry, aerospace industry, the automotive industry, architect industry, and environmental engineering. So the pen extruder's main purpose is to properly 3D print at a significant low cost with a larger scale print than most that are already in the industry and maximize its uses in different ways. For example, the pen extruder can be used in architectural designs to print out models of different types of structures or it can also be used to 3d print automotive parts as seen in this figure here we see a 3d printing of an engine so pretty much the pellet shooter can help in rapid prototyping let's talk about background knowing the project's background is an essential part in the successful development since it offers an overview that helps decide the project's needs this background section presents similar projects that already exist and are operational in today's society. Since these projects resemble the intended projects, reviewing and analyzing them will help us give, get a clear understanding of, the, of some of the procedures, components, and technologies involved. The goal is to create a low-cost pellet extruder end effector, so we research projects dedicated to the implementation of 3D printers. The three projects that were researched were Direct Pellet Extruder developed for LEDC 3D print with Recycle, Robot Assist 3D prints of thin biopolymer shells, and design and development of, the, of a 
and extruder system for 3D printing biopolymerase pellets. The first project, direct pellet extruder developed for LEDC 3D printing with recycled, developed a 3D printer that can print using recycled plastic waste what, like bottles and bags. This printer manufactures souvenirs, kitchen supplies, etc., and at the same time reduces the re reduces the plastic waste from our society. All parts of this machine are easy to use and easy to find. The three printer uses FPM technology. The components like a hopper, a screw that transports material to the nozzle, a monitor, monitor etc. On the right is the schematics of the pellet extruder, and on the far left you see a little face that was made by the pellet extruder. For the second project, the robotic assisted 3D printer of the thin biopolymer shells designs, develops, and teaches and tests a robot assisted biopolymer thin shell freeform printing system. This 3D printer is capable of printing directly on 3D shaped curved surfaces while using a, a fuse the deposition style printing system to be able to print in 3D. The system is comprised of a hopper, an extruder, a robotic arm, etc. On the left you have the assembled pedal extruder and on my right you see different views of the 3D print design. Our plan is that we will use the basic principles of the first project and the robotic arm that moves around on the printing platform of the second project to create our own project that is efficient but affordable while printing on a large scale which makes ours the finest. Hi guys, my name is Natalia Barros. I'm going to be talking about intellectual property. Intellectual property is probably one of the most important steps to consider when working on an invention. It is crucial to avoid any sort of infringement on our intellectual property as it is considered illegal. While doing our research, we were able to find three projects that relate to ours. So the first one is the extruder feed system. We will be able to avoid infringement because um, our design will be exclusively for pellets and our design will also have a kind of belt that would drive the pellets through the funnel into our extruder. The second one is the pellet based fused deposition modeling for 3D print or manufacturing. Um, so the way we will, this pattern um, is mounted onto a carriage and that carriage is able to slide back and forth on its axis parallel to the surface while ours will be mounted onto a KUKA robotic arm and will be able to spin in different directions. The last one is the single screw micro extruder for 3D printing um, invented by Timothy Woomer and yeah. So ethical considerations. The purpose of ethical considerations is to acknowledge each and any ethical plundering that might occur during our project and a way to resolve it. So these are part of the code of ethics. A dilemma that might show up in our within our pellet extruder could be the safety. Um, people could assume that the low cost pellet extruder on the Kuka ro robotic arm will be easy to use and there will be no safety concerns and everything will go smoothly. This assumption will break the code of disclosing factors that might endanger the public or environment and also would break the assumption of always being honest and realistic. To be able to fix this, um, we would give the user a list of problems that can occur during the deployment of the pellet extruder and we'll also give instructions on how to stop the robot in case of a malfunction. Hello, my name is Anabel Rodriguez and today I'll be explaining the final concept for the pellet extruder. At the time of designing the pellet extruder, we had to pick among certain components for the control system, the extrusion system, and the build surface. For the control system, we had to pick between the KRC4 and the KRC5 controllers. For the extrusion system, we had to pick between the selected laser sintering and the spindle. And for the build surface, which is the bed in which the 3D printer design is going to rest, we had to pick between the build tag flex plate and the heated glass bed. After a profound analysis of what we wanted to do with the design, 
we went for the combination of the KRC4 with the spindle and the Viltac flex plate. The advantages of using this design is that it's going to have a low cost, it's going to be accurate and it's to control. And the disadvantages is that the Viltac flex plate requires a frequent leveling and the installation has to be on a perfect flat surface. As a conclusion, the 3D printing design has been around for some time and very present some glitches that affect the productivity of the 3D printers. With the idea of the pellet extruder, most of these problems are gonna go away because the main cost is that the previous idea uses a filament uh, extruder system Part of what we do is to design a low-cost pellet extruder to make 3D printing affordable, efficient, and easier.